Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So apparently after a very, very long period of no legendary campaigns on global, Bandai has decided to give us two of them back to back. Obviously we just had the LR Trunks campaign for part one of the thank you celebration. And now for the next celebration, we're about to get the Int LR Vegeta campaign as well. Now. This was definitely unexpected, I didn't see this coming, but very, very welcome because there are a lot of things Global still needs to catch up on, and Legendary Campaigns is definitely one of them. There's also Extreme Z Awakenings and Extreme Z Battles, and also a ton of story events. Uh, so hopefully that means that the Tech Golden Frieza Extreme Z Battle is going to make its way over to Global as well in the near future, but you know what, I'm going to talk about that in a separate video. In today's video, we're going to focus on the Int LR Vegeta campaign, and I'm going to give you guys all the details you need to know about this campaign before it officially starts, so that you guys are all ready to go and fully prepared. Alright, so let's start things off with a quick reading of this little intro here. So it says, Strengthen Vegeta and obtain awesome rewards including 20 Dragon Stones. Not too bad. Legendary Challenge campaign is on challenge the Prime Battle Pride Staked Awakening to recruit rigorous training Vegeta. Collect Awakening Medals to Dokkan Awaken Vegeta into an LR. In addition, you can obtain awesome mission rewards by raising his super attack to level 20 and fully activating his hidden potential. Grab the chance to strengthen Vegeta and get hold of his legendary power. Okay, so essentially it's very similar to the LR Trunks campaign that we just had, and there is a bonus reward for all players that fully awaken the LR Vegeta before the campaign starts since it's much harder to do that before you get the bonuses and the half stamina and all that stuff. So if you guys are close to collecting all the medals or maybe you have some extra time over the next couple of days, I would definitely recommend that you finish this guy out before the campaign officially starts on December 8th. All right, so you have about five to six days depending on when you watch this video to finish your Vegeta before the actual legendary campaign starts. And if you do that, you'll get a bonus of 10 Dragon Stones, three Elder Kai's, as well as two Reversal Medals. And then for the actual campaign, once it starts on the 8th, you can expect 20 Dragon Stones for awakening him to LR status. If you already have done that, then you get that 20 stones as a bonus. So in total, 30 stones for people that finish the LR Vegeta before the campaign starts. And then for getting him to SA20, you get seven Elder Kai's. Now, in order to do this, you have two different options, right? The first option is to just awaken one LR Vegeta at SA10 and then use Elder Kai's for the remaining 10 super attack levels. Or if you want to commit to the insane, insane grind, you can also awaken two different LR Vegetas at SA10 and feed one of them into the other one to get him to SA20 for free, I guess, and save some Elder Kai's. But like I said, that is just an insane grind. It takes a stupid amount of time. That's 777 medals times two. It's your choice. I have friends that do it. I know people that do it, but um, I would not personally wish that upon my worst enemy. So I would say just use the Kai's. You do kind of get them back, um, but that's your call, okay? And last but not least, for fully activating his hidden potential, you get all your int orbs back. And on top of that, for the campaign period, the uh, obviously prime battle event will be available every single day and the amount of stamina uh, required is going to be reduced by half and also there will be a bonus for certain characters used so the two bonus categories for this event during the campaign period or does it remain after the campaign ends i'm not really sure i don't, I don't remember because i've never gone back to a prime battle event after the legendary campaign ended but uh, there will be two bonus categories goku's family as well as Vegeta's family, so units from these two categories will give you a boosted drop rate for medals and dupes and whatever you're farming from the event. And on top of that, there were three different story events that returned to JP during their campaign, and I expect Global to get them too since uh, they give you the ability or give you the option of farming uh, free to play characters that can be used for the prime battle event right so for this one there's the kid gohan uh, this one's the goku jr and then this one is for the vegeta jr and last but not least the int hidden potential event will be available daily which makes sense since the vegeta is an int type lr 
So uh, that's it guys, those are all the details, at least from the JP side, for the LR Vegeta campaign, but since the Prime Battle campaign for the LR Trunks was essentially identical to the JP iteration, the JP version, uh, I'm gonna say that the uh, Vegeta campaign is gonna be exactly the same as the JP campaign as well. So, uh, LR Vegeta campaign coming to global in just under a week and six days. So once again, if you guys are close to awakening him or you have some extra time over the next couple of days, I would definitely recommend that you get him done before the campaign starts for those bonus rewards right there. So 30 stones instead of 20 stones, 10 Elder Kai's instead of uh, 7 Elder Kai's, and also 2 bonus reversal medals, which is not a huge deal, but it's something. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Those are all the details for the upcoming LR Vegeta Prime Battle Campaign 2 back-to-back -back legendary challenge campaigns. Didn't really see that coming, but uh, I'm not complaining. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video helped you in some way. And as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.